When working with young athletes, it's important to have a progression. The progression that we use in developing infielders is rolling ground balls at them first before we start hitting. Ground ball work, the most important thing is glove work, making sure that you have proper footwork and that you learn to make strong, accurate, and quick throws. Get there. One of the, the most important elements in the game is to be able to break down the game. And as you can see, even at the elite level, we start off by rolling ground balls to our infielders. And the purpose for this is really to work on glove positioning, to work on footwork. Um, and uh, it really gives you a great opportunity to get a lot of repetition in a short amount of time. I always like to have our infielders make throws. Uh, very seldom do we take ground balls and not make a throw. Set those feet towards your target. Even okay, if you shorten in, up the throw. Plan throw. At least they still have to get in a position to be able to make a throw and execute the throw. Yeah. So we start off with roll ground balls at them. Here we're going to the backhand. Uh, but we try to use every element that an infielder is going to have to be able to get into to field the ball and try to duplicate that in these little drills. Here we're going through a rake through. This is when the ball is not hit real hard that you have to come charge, but you can also get your body in a position to be able to make a quick and efficient throw by raking through and getting your feet in line with your target quickly. Here we're doing short hop drills, and all we're doing here is trying to get our kids to come get the short hop there. and uh, not lay back on it. But this is a real important element in the game because obviously as an infielder, you want to field the ball in the long hop or the short hop, and uh, this forces them to come get the ball. Here we're yeah. using the backhand on the short hop. And uh, many a times uh, young players don't use their backhand enough and don't become comfortable with it. Another thing that I like to do is put all of our infielders right, at gang, various positions. And what we're doing right now is just working on quick feet and making good throws and receiving right, the ball. Side. Switch, 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 switch. Here we go. As you can see, we try to make sure that we're keeping practice moving, try to get a lot done in a short period of time. But here we're fielding ground ball, we're working on getting that right foot down quick making a strong, accurate throw, Get him in the chest. and then there on the go. other end, uh, they're working on receiving the throw, making sure that they're getting body in a good athletic position with their thumbs up, prepared to catch the ball no matter where it's thrown at. So I'll work the fielders, balls right at them, balls to their left, and then balls to the uh, line or to their backhand side. Don't sacrifice quickness for accuracy. We need both. Here you see them receiving the throw. And now we're having them come up, trying to charge the ball. Get there. Picking a hop. One of the keys in playing infield is being able to identify which hop. Um, obviously, you're in control of which hop you're going to choose the field. Keep talking, And like gang. I said, we want to make sure that we're fielding the ball in the short hop or the long hop. All right, switch sides real quick. You guys are covering first this round, first base. This next element, what we're going to be doing is, again, we're throwing from Here third base, but we're throwing over to first base. Guys, and move we're working a on a couple of things here. Obviously, our fielding principles, but the big thing is many a times in the game of softball, it's a very quick game, and we're not always stationary as we get to a play. And so we're working on God. communicating uh, with the person fielding the ball God. that sometimes we're not at the bag so that we have to lead them. To give them a good throw, we also want to make sure that we're buying time. Sometimes you see that some of these kids are taking a double shuffle in case that uh, person that's receiving the throw isn't quite there yet. And uh, it allows them to give them time to get to the bag to be able to receive the throw. Now we're working on slow rollers as they come up, feel the ball, get rid of it quick. A lot of things you can do in a short period of time, though, with this drill here. All right, here we go. Break through it. All right, switch. Good job. Good job, 
Make Softball's a, top five. a game of monotonous go. repetition of fundamental skills. Yeah. And as you can see in our practices, we do a lot of ground ball work, whether it's rolling ground balls and then eventually uh, actually fun going ground balls or hitting ground balls. God, what a talk. Not a girl. I'll even include sometimes our pitchers in these drills. Most of the time in softball, uh, pitchers are notoriously not known for their great defensive skills. So we throw them right in here with, with our infielders. And uh, usually I see a lot of improvement uh, by them being able to watch uh, what, what proper footwork looks like and quickness looks like without rushing. Right. And uh, it's a good drill to incorporate with everyone.